here we have Scatularia angustifolia, one of our little skull caps. I'm sure dancing in the wind right now. It's so beautiful. It's a in the mint family, and like many mints, we can see that it has opposite leaves. If I can stabilize it a bit. It has opposite leaves, so the leaves are in pairs. Notice that it has, I don't know if you can see the square stems, but if you were to roll it in your hand, it would have square stems. And the flowers, if you look at it from the side here, these flowers have two lips, an upper lip and a lower lip. Those are the field characteristics for the mint family. Now, the skull caps, the scutellarias, have no flavor other than bitter. They have no flavor other than bitter. They don't have a real smell. But the way you can tell them in the wild, what makes skull caps so unique as far as the telltale is the sepals, which is the, uh, the uh, green flaps. Let's see if I can center them for you. There are some of the green flaps that the, that's on the outside of the flower and bud. Notice that that green flap has, uh, the green flaps, the calyx or the sepals, have a ridge on top of them. There's one there in the center. Let's see here, this flower here. Let's see if I can do that. Oops. Right there, there you go. There's another ridge there. And if we walk our way up the stem, maybe we can see that. Look, there's some nice ones. See the, uh, you can see the sepals. The outside of the flower when it's in bud has that ridge on it. Oh, that would make a nice picture actually. Can I do that? And if we go up, there's a bud. See how the bud there still has that ridge. And that's how you can identify a skull cap from other mints is the ridge on the calyx or the sepals.